What is up guys? Today is a great day. We're back for another quick video. I wanted to discuss a couple things. One, the garden. The garden's just pumping right now. So I want to go over my garden because I think if, you've, uh, if you're if you an investor that's been sitting on the sidelines, the garden might be the best play out there right now. If you haven't watched my previous video, I'll show you which one it is. But uh, gar the garden is a leverage play on drip. So when drip goes up, the garden should perform better. So uh, now that we're starting to see some momentum back in drip, all right, guys, sorry, my uh, my light died. So it took me forever to find the cord. So I'll edit out that five minutes it took me to get that thing plugged in. Uh, I think I was talking about the momentum in drip. So because there's so much momentum in drip, I think people are piling back into the garden. I checked the contract balance on that um, a few days ago, and I want to say it was like 12,000 LPs lower. And 12,000 LPs at about, I want to say LPs are like, I don't know, 1250 times 12,000, 150,000 added to the garden. So that's a pretty strong upswing. People are getting more confident. Since it's a leverage play, it might be the one that'll uh, that'll make you the most. So let's hit that. Uh, we gotta do the six drip giveaway. Posted that on my last video. Let's see. So seeing how much you deposited. Last video was down here. It was this one. It was, this is a game changer and you had to put FTA and your wallet address. So if you did that uh, earlier today, I took all the wallet addresses uh, that put that in there, I put them in a list. We're gonna do a random number generator and we're gonna see who wins. But real quick, let's jump back to the drip chart. Drip chart's looking good. I mean, this really is strong. I'm very surprised we haven't seen a bit of a pullback. I mean, that's pretty much straight up. There's uh, been some tiny little red candles, but all the volume is green, as you can see down here. So that's very bullish. I expect um, I expect this to sort of level out, and I wouldn't be surprised at all if we get a sell-off over the weekend, because it seems like almost every Sunday we get a sell-off. So let's see where we're at. But, uh, but the fact that that is sustaining for this long, and that chart is so strong, proves that I think a bottom is in unless Animal Farm gets delayed again. So if Forex sticks to his word about the launch days, I think we're, this is gonna, the bottom's in, this is gonna continue to go up. We bottomed around 850. So I think from this point forward, we're gonna see some positive price action as all these extra layers get added. And from the updates that I gave you earlier, it seems like Forex and his project manager and the full team are, are really hitting their stride. So let's hope that's true. And we continue to see this thing pump. If, if, uh, if this thing does pump, then the garden's gonna pump. So let's jump over and look at my garden. So I was excited to hit 16,000 plants earlier today. I'm generating a good amount here. That's super exciting. And as you can see, 396,773 on the Drip BUSD LP contract balance. So uh, let's jump over to Drip Overwatch, look at my garden stats. And I'm making you know a little over $25 a day, which is awesome. But the more important thing, of course, is this. How many LPs am I creating? because that's really what I want. The garden isn't really to produce dollars for me, even though I could pull those out, split it up, put the put the drip in my faucet and try to get my faucet to ramp up a little bit faster and then keep the BUSD. But what I'm really ultimately trying to do anyway right now at this point is just get more pigs into the pig pen because that's my ownership of, of that platform, of the animal farm platform. And so the higher that is, the more I'll get paid out. Right now it's not producing much. I've only got a couple of pigs in there. It's it's producing uh, producing virtually nothing. But some of the big boys like Stunna, I mean, they've got a good amount of pigs in there and they're getting paid a reasonable amount per day. I think that we're gonna see a minimum of 5X on that return once the animal farms go live. Because part of that return has to do with all the transactions happening and people are just buying and selling pigs and piglets. It's, that's not that much uh, transaction value, if you will. So once dogs go live and all the other uh, pieces of the farm go live, a lot more transactions can happen. Those transactions create fees. Those fees go to the owner of the platform, which are people that have pigs staked in the pig pen. So what I wanna do is take these LPs that I'm generating and let's go look. Obviously the farms will be under the new UI, but I will stake them in the drip USD pool, right? Because I'll have those LPs and those are gonna earn me pigs. Those pigs will then go into the pig pen and the pig pen will pay me out. So all these things are set up for the ecosystem. Use the ecosystem for what it's designed for and there's a really good chance you're gonna make some good money. So if you don't know how to, how to, how to get into this, 
Go over to one of my last videos, it's right here, how to make 3% a day in the drip garden. That gives you all the details, has my referral information, doesn't take anything from you, it just gives me a small percentage bonus. So if you'd use that, I'd appreciate it, but it doesn't matter either way. And that should give you everything you need to know to get started. So the drip garden, like I said, is really just printing. I set a goal originally and I put it on probably my previous videos, a few of them. I'm not going to touch my plants until I get to at least 25,000, which should not be very much longer. Uh, but I'm certainly not going to touch it until the farms get open because that's the purpose of this. So I'm just going to keep uh, keep cranking and hydrating here. Hydrating. I'm so ingrained to say hydrating, compounding. I'm just I spend too much of my time doing drip, but you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm going to compound, recompound uh, my seeds to create new plants, which will increase my LP balance. So we'll see how high I can get that before it's time to open the farms. If you want to get into the garden and you have watched my previous video and still have questions, feel free to hit me up. You can hit me up on Telegram. All my stuff is Scott the Investor, or you can comment in this video and I'll be happy to help you get set up. Moving on, let's jump over and check out Drip. So the faucet uh, has me at 1571 in deposits, which is bumping me up over 21,000. It's nice to see the 20,000 numbers again. It was pretty hard to watch this uh, drop down in like the 12 range, considering I've seen it up at 50 before. So I want to give a special shout out to the new team member I got, but and which you're important, but also probably more important. In the last three days, I probably gained four, if not five indirects, which means that my team is are growing their teams. And that's super important because I'm just one guy, right? I got in, it started working out for me. I told my story, a bunch of people piled in after me, which makes me feel good because I think this is actually a really good investment long term. So I'm hoping that, uh, you know, all these people seeing my videos, seeing my content, eventually the, I'm making those 106 people rich. And so it's really good to see my team go out and, to, you know, bring on new investors because they feel really confident in the project too. Like this is actually going to go somewhere. So I'm proud of all you guys, and I will likely be doing some team building competitions soon just to incentivize that good behavior. But you guys are all doing great and I'm super stoked for you, for anyone who's added someone to their team. All right, earlier today, I stole six from the drip balance. So it's over here and we're gonna give them away. What I did is I went to this video. Where is it? Right here. Game changer. Oh, that's kind of cool. And um, of course you had to give your wallet address, put FTA in your wallet address like this. So I just use my handy dandy tool, wherever it is. And I searched for anyone who put FTA in the comments and I grabbed a ton of addresses out of there. So I think I grabbed 25, I'll show you the list. All right, here is my spreadsheet, 25 wallet addresses here. So what I wanna do is uh, we're gonna look these up. We're gonna use a random number generator to generate. Let's do three, let's, let's generate three and then we'll spin the wheel to see who actually wins here. So out of 25, I think I've got right here. Okay, so one to 25, how many numbers? We want three unique numbers, yep, generate. <laughs> really? Okay, let's see. Bicycles, zero. Where do you click if there's nothing? Somebody tell me how these things work. They're retarded. Okay, it gave us 14, 20, and 16. So, here we go. 14 is here. 20 is here. 16 is here. Alright, let's spot check that against the comments. Just see who we've got here. So, so 14 ends in 9736, and there it is. So Mark Greenlaw, and we've got 16 is gonna be David Jarvis, and 20 is Speedy 15 SNW. All right, let's jump over here and let's put in our stuff. Let's go, boom, 14, 16, 20. All right, you guys ready to go? Sixteen. That's funny. Sixteen is actually my lucky number. So congratulations to sixteen. Let's go back and just make sure we got you there in the system. David Jarvis, congratulations, my man. Let me send that over to you right now. 
So just checking, making sure we got the right wallet address. Now we'll go over here and we'll get the airdrop sent. So direct airdrop, your wallet address, sir, and six drip. Congratulations. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It certainly helps. I'm really trying to see if we can hit 2000 subscribers in the next week or so. So I hope you guys like my content. Again, super excited drips going in an upward direction. Happy investing.